Hello, welcome again. My name is Jan, and today I'm going to be talking about why a hot dip galvanized treatment is the best choice. So the uh, beauty and the beast. When we talk about hot dip galvanized um, steel or hot dip galvanized treatment or zinc plated um, steel, we often refer to salt spray testing and numbers like 240 salt spray, hours of salt spray, 500 hours of, of, of salt spray, 700 or even more. Well, during this session, I would like to um, show you and explain you why it's not only about um, salt spray testing. Um, it's just one thing, and I will uh, explain during this session, why there is many more parameters to, to be taken into account. The beauty and the beast. Which bolt, look at these two pictures, which bolts would you choose? Which one would you opt for? Probably the left one, because the left one is a nice shiny one, and the other ones not. Now, 10 years later, looking at it, look at the, um, the left picture, then you'll see that the, the eye bolt becomes red, meaning they rust. So I will explain you now how come and why hot dip is the best option. When, you, when we talk about hot dip galvanized steel, you have to take into account kind of three parameters. Thickness, toughness and smartness. So that is the best treatment for your hinges, meaning for your eye bolt. Thickness, first of all. What does that mean? When you talk about thickness, um, you'll see that it's kind of expressed in micron. So a micron is one thousand of a mil. Think of your wire of hair, think of a sheet of paper. It's not, not thicker than that. Again, size here. Size is important. If you look at the left hand picture, you'll see that it's eight to ten and that is when it's used in um, a zinc, zinc plated treatment. On the right hand picture, you'll see that it's 60, 80 or even more kind of um, treatment. And then here we talk about hot dip galvanized treatment. So that is a big difference already, the thickness. A to 10 or 60 to 80 or even more. So as you can see here, next to thickness, the amount of zinc applied is very important. So the thickness, as said before, looking at electrolytic um, galvanized, it's only 8 to 10 micron. Hot dip galvanized steel is 6 to 8 or even more. So that makes already a big difference. Thickness here is very important. So in general, look at this table, this graph here. In general, the thicker the steel, the thicker the coating, and the longer the lifespan, of your, of, your, of your treatment, of your products in general, of course. So size is important. And the thickness is a kind of, what kind of thickness you're gonna use? That's kind of difficult to, to explain, but we, Lockenox, we have more than 30 years in the market, more than 30 years of experience with hot dip galvanized steel, hot dip galvanized treatments, we have that experience. And we know how to treat, for example, our eye bolts. And if you talk about an eye bolt, it's very important as well to understand that you have the thread. And the thread as well is very important that it has a good protection. So we have that experience and we call it substandard threading. Right, next one, toughness. A bit strange, but this is very important as well. You could easily as well paint your steel, but hot dip provides a kind of high quality and many years of maintenance of free corrosion protection versus paint systems require maintenance all the time. Every year or every two years you have to paint it. Not when you use hot dip galvanized steel, for example, or hot dip galvanized protection. Now there's two types. Here you see a chemical bond and a mechanical bond. A mechanical bond is a kind of two layers of plastic just sticking together. That is all. When you look at um, 
a chemical bond. A chemical bond is these two layers of plastic blend into one, become one. So, as a summary, a chemical bond is far superior to a mechanical uh, bond. Toughness. So why is it so important to be tough? Obviously, we lock in ox, our components are made for outdoor. So, first of all, outside use is very important, good protection. The thread as well, as said before, uh, the thread is well, well treated, we have that experience, so won't rust. And obviously, yeah, looking at, for example, your gate and your hinges, you want a reliable hinge, and you, want, you, don't want, you, you do not want any, any risk or that hinges break. That's a very, uh, that's a danger, of course. Right, smart, yeah, how can hot dip be smart? Maybe as well, a pretty strange one, but it has kind of self-protecting abilities. So it's a kind of unique in, in healing, in self-healing versus rapid failure. Rapid failure meaning when you paint it, or even electrolytic um, galvanized steel that would fail. So even when the coating, is, is, is the zinc coating is scratched, the surrounding zinc will continue to resist corrosion um, of the steel. So we have a much better protection thanks to the hot dip again, because it's kind of smart, self-healing. So the zinc coating grows perpendicular to the steel so edges and corners are also kind of well protected. They have some thickness. Again, thinking of the eye bolt, you have the thread. So it's very important that that has some protection as well. So they do not become red or there is no rust after a couple of years. We have that guarantee. Abrasion resistance. So what does that mean? It's also kind of yeah, smart. Um, and as you can see it on the left, on the left hand picture, you see that the, the outer layer is quite, um, how can you say, ductile, which provides some impact resistance. So that's the kind of the outer layer, the ETA, the ETA layer. Um, what you see as well, the, the underlying layers, they're kind of coupled with um, the outer layer. And then you'll see that that makes damaging Damaging of the um, hot dip coating, very difficult. So even when you kind of um, damage the outer layer, you still have the, the, the other layers that protect it. Um, outside use, obviously, if you look at this graph, you'll see that um, hot dip has a, um, a proven track of longevity in all environments. Urban environment, rural environment, have a look at this graph. And you'll see again here that um, uh, hot dip again here is the best option for outdoor use. Now, an interesting one is the zinc patina. And what is that zinc patina? The, the patina begins to, um, to form um, as soon as the zinc coating is exposed to the atmosphere. So it's a kind of a natural protection film that is developed during, during the years, during the time. And that is also why hot dip is the best option, because besides the hot dip treatment, you have that zinc patina that gives it an extra protection. Again, that is why hot dip is the best um, option. So salt spray testing is indeed, as we do as well here in-house, we have our own, own nice quality department, and also the tools to do, uh, to check the quality of our components. So salt spray testing, as you know, is a continuous process. So in these conditions, as I just explained, the zinc patina um, cannot, be, cannot be formed. So the best way is, if you look at um, hot dip, salt spray testing is a good one. But if you want to, to look at the full picture, you have also, you have to, to think of the zinc patina that is only formed outside and that during uh, the time during the years. So is salt spray testing worthless then? Well, not really. It's what we do as well here internally. It's an, an easy and fast way to do a test. 
And also it makes sense to do a test of similar products. That's what we do here in-house. Again, quality testing for our quality department, indeed, also very important. What we want to achieve, for example, looking at our eye bolts, we want to achieve, for example, a minimum of 500 hours of salt spray testing. So if we, do, if we produce one batch and we meet with a, and these meet with the 500 hours of salt spray testing, the next batch that we produce should have the same. So we have these checks all the time here in house. Also, as, I, as you can see here, next batch should have, as I said before, should have the same numbers of quality of salt spray testing. If you want to learn more about salt spray testing, please have a look at um, our website, locknox.com, and you'll find a nice um, a video where, we, where you can see how salt spray testing is um, being done here in house. You can see the test, uh, the difference between uh, a zinc plated eye bolt and a hot dip eye bolt. So I said before, the only, uh, the only really good way to test is in real life. Now then, to conclude, steel is sometimes used for its specific good characteristics, obviously. Hot dip, uh, hot dip galvanized treatment is the best choice. That has become clear by now. Look at that chemical bond. Two layers that blend into one. Very important, good protection. Um, the linear relation between the thickness of the layer and also the effectiveness of the protection. Think of that zinc as well. Hot dip galvanized um, steel or um, treatment offers the best protection thanks to its thickness. Think of this 80 micron versus only 8 to 10 micron electrolytic um, zinc plated um, steel. Um, salt spray test, as I said before, you can't compare it with other types of um, protection since they have um, before, since they behave differently, uh, obviously, during, during the test. So is electrolytic galvanization then bad? Well, you can use it, for example, when you use, when you, you need just a thin layer, for example, Maglox. Um, aesthetically, sometimes aesthetically, it is important that you have a kind of a nice and shiny thing. Can be used as well, obviously. Then, of course, you have less corrosion protection. Um, could be as well a cheaper product, a cheaper solution, zinc plated. Um, and also, of course, the product um, that needs to be welded to another pre-galvanized um, product. So that's why you could possibly use um, electrolytic galvanized, um, steel galvanized um, treatment. Um, if more questions about this really interesting topic, um, please talk to um, Tim, covering the UK market, uh, my colleague um, Bayenka, or myself. Um, have a look as well, obviously, um, at lockinox.com. Uh, you'll find um, brochures, you'll find catalogs, uh, you'll find uh, interesting videos, more webinars about our really nice products. And please follow us as well um, on Facebook, LinkedIn, and other social uh, media. Thank you for being with us and thank you for watching this webinar and hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.